peace. Islam. Shikamaga Alamasi Yield. Coming at y'all live. Deep, deep, deep down. To Saligi Arabian country. You know what I'm saying? Coming at y'all live from the old land of Shikamaga. The old city of Shikamaga. You know what I'm saying? Current day Chattanooga. Or so called Chattanooga. So called Tennessee. And uh, standing in front of the historic Chattanooga Terminal Station. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Let's just take a look at it. Take a look. I mean, come on, man. I mean, straight miles on down. Let's take a look. Let's take a better look. I mean, this is your old stuff, man. This is, this is, this is straight miles. I mean, it don't take a rocket scientist to know that this is an old Muslim building. You know what I mean? And we already done the knowledge on American, so-called American railroads. They've been running through here. Now, if you do the science on so-called Chattanooga, and you do the history of, the, of this area, they're gonna tell you that it was an old Chickamauga town. And when they're talking about the, the so-called Chickamauga, the Shikamaga, the real Tasaliki, the, these are the real, these are the Muslim Cherokees, so-called so-called Cherokee or Tasaliki that split off from a lot of the lanes. You know what I'm saying? Like around the time of the Revolutionary War, because everybody was picking sides. Now the, the so-called Tasaliki or the Shikamaga Tasaliki, they were the ones who, who remained Muslim and remained Barbary. So they, you know, they 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 were the ones that were holding down the line and making sure none of the um, so-called, you know, so-called settlers were able to just travel freely in Barbary turf. You know, they were enforcing the line and keeping the so-called United States settlers, you know, where the, you know back across the line. They were like the, the old border patrol. You know what I mean? So and they were they were you know they were Muslims, so they were enforcing Barbary customary law, meaning you couldn't travel. And so-called Chattanooga, a Chattanooga was one of their old towns that they was running their, you know, they was running their, their raids and their armies from. So, you knew the history of so-called Chattanooga. It's, it was a real important military town and military point in the Civil War. It, it was it was like that back then when the Shikamaga were doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, again, this was an old town. You couldn't come down here with all that, that you know, the new demonstration of so-called industrialization and so-called the New Testament Christianity and all that. You couldn't come down here because this is old Muslim turf. And this building right here is, is evidence. Now, again, and we're gonna, we're gonna do a drop later, uh, talk going more into the Shikamaga and you know their demonstration because again, the real ones, the real uh, the Moors. That's that's the main thing you gotta understand. The Shikamaga are the Moors, the current day Moors, or the Moorish Americans, and all these, and, and the real ones that really still fight and never gave up their nationality. That was the Shikamaga, the so-called Cherokee, the, 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 the federally recognized Cherokee. That, that's all the assimilationists and the mixed breeds and all of that people that didn't want to hold down their Muslim customs. So the, 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 if you want to say the Tasali, yeah, the Shikamaga, they're the present day Moors. You know what I'm saying? And the rest of y'all like clowns talking about y'all talking about y'all some abos and Cherokees and all that nonsense. Y'all are the assimilations that signed your rights over because you didn't want to fight no more. You didn't want to hold it down for a lot and take the long road. Y'all wanted to take the easy road and sell and, 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 and sign your rights away like, like punks. You know what I'm saying? And we already did the knowledge. We already did the knowledge in the, in the, in the last drop about all of the all of the so-called treaties the United States made with all the Barbary powers, and, and Tunis was one of the treaties, and that's t present day. Don't get it messed up. Tunis is, is present day so-called Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just keep it a book. And they did the treaty of they did they, they did the so-called treaty of uh, Teleco Blockhouse in 1794. That was really the treaty of Tunis right there, with the, with the so-called Barbary powers of the Shikamaga. Those were the Barbary. That was the Barbary states. The Shikamaga was holding that down. You know what I'm saying? And Chattanooga was one of their old capitals and one of their old base. And now, let's do the knowledge. Okay, this was the old Shikamaga military town, right? Where they was running, where they was you know, holding the United States back and running raids and you know slave raids all over the country on settlers and all that. Now let's look at, and I say, not saying right or wrong, we just spitting facts. Now let's, let's now they didn't turn you one of your old Muslim buildings. Again, the railroads have always been running through here, so there's an old train station because the railroads have always been running through this town because it's an old military town for the Muslims. Now let's look at let's look at what they've done to it. Now it's a restaurant, and not saying right or wrong again. You know, we know the industrialists took it over or whatever, but now it's a restaurant. <laughs> if y'all do the history of the Chattanooga, I mean, it was it was hella Moorish back in the day. Now we just look down the street, hella, hella gentrified, a bunch of goofies walking around. I mean, it is what it is. But this is this is for people. This is people who don't want to fight. You know, who want, don't want to hold down their their customs and they, and they don't want to fight for anything to sign their rights. So, you know what I'm saying? And then one more interesting thing before uh, we close out. In the last drop, we talked about how 1816. A lot of the new treaties got imposed on the, on the Barbary powers by the so-called United States. And um, it's interesting that this, this used to be the town of Shatanuga, Chikamaga. It was an old Chikamaga town, a part of the Barbary 
you know, a part of the bold barbary states. But it, all of a sudden, in 1816, uh, so-called John Ross created John, uh, Ross's Landing here. So he was like some, he was one of the assimilationists, you know, you know, that was helping the industrial thing move forward. But he was probably one of us, a mixed breed or whatever. But he was an assimilationist, and he created Ross's Landing all of a sudden, in 1816, after these new treaties imposed on so-called the Barbary, the Barbary powers, Tunis, Tripoli, and um, Algiers. <laughs> I mean, coincidence? I think not. But anyway, checking in live from Shatanuga, old Shikamaga, the real Shikamaga, the real Moors. Shikamaga are the present are this are the present day Moors. Don't get it messed up. And the rest of y'all are the sellouts. <laughs> Keep it a buck, man. But anyway, checking this Muslim building out, old building. And then the science on this particular building, they, they claim, okay, they claim, we already know this building was built way back when. This old Muslim, old Muslim building. Now, they say it was so-called built in 1904. And, they, and, you know, they had hella train traffic in here. But they said about the time of 1960, it was only two passenger train systems left running through here. And they were ready to demolish this building. So you tell me, you're going to build something this grand in 1904. And by the time 1960 something rolled around, you ready to tear it down? Something this grand? Man, please, man. Y'all ain't built. This is old Muslim stuff, man. <laughs> they ain't built nothing. And then we talked about how they ran the trains out because trains is, have been in America. That's our old stuff. And now, all of a sudden, in, in the 1960s, after World War II, all of the train, all of the, all of the so-called trains are gone, <laughs> and they're ready to tear down all these old stations. Come on, man. Let's just keep it a buck, man. This is old. This is old, <laughs> old Muslim building. The railroads, are old Muslim technology, old Moorish technology, and it just is what it is. So, uh, anyway, tapping in live, uh, live from Shikamaga, Shatanuga, old Moorish Muslim town, and I'll uh, tap back in with y'all later. Peace.